the State Elections Bureau. Here's that list, which includes front runners James Craig and Perry Johnson. News 8's Whitney Burney joins us now live in the newsroom with the details from that report. Brian and Sue, just hours ago, we were expecting to see one of the largest lineups of candidates for the Republican primary. Now, the state's Bureau of Elections says half of the candidates should not be on the ballot come August. The State Bureau of Elections says these five candidates did not get enough valid nominating signatures. Among them, former Detroit Police Chief James Craig and businessman Perry Johnson, who were poised to be the front runners in the race, each candidate needing to submit 15,000 signatures to qualify. The state launched the investigation after tips from citizens about fraudulent signatures and challenges from Democrats and some Republican candidates. The report found more than 30 canvassers, some working to collect signatures for multiple campaigns submitted at least 68,000 invalid signatures across 10 campaigns, including some races for circuit court judges. Staff with the elections... I'm doing this story to yet again remind my audience, conservatives, liberals, socialists, tribalism is a toxic poison that will bring America to its knees. If any of you actually love your country, one of the biggest things that will bother you will not be CRT, right? Will not be whether a woman, shortly after first discovering that she's pregnant, should be able to have an abortion. It shouldn't be Aunt Jemima. It shouldn't be cancel culture. It shouldn't be, they're coming to take our guns. It shouldn't be any of the bullshit fed to you by millionaires and elites in the Republican Party and their mouthpieces in the media. A whole crew of millionaire elites pushing down to you distractions. While you're worried about the nonsense, you don't realize that the most dangerous thing to this country is tribalism. It is eating this country alive. It is putting your children's lives in danger right now, right? People worried about, oh, this CRT thing and don't, I don't want my kids around that. Less worried about the idea that one day your kid might not come home from school because of a school shooting. Because... You're too busy being distracted by tribalism and focused on the other to realize how deadly and destructive tribalism is. I have subscribers right now that probably even now in 2022 still believe that the 2020 election was some kind of big scheme. Because they're watching liars like Steven Crowder that pumped you up with all these bogus, oh, oh, oh wagon gate, sharpie gate and ignored every single legit fraud. When there was legit fraud, people got busted, they got arrested, they got charged. Steven Crowder had nothing to say. The people who come on my channel and talk about, oh, the election, this, and how could Biden get, they got nothing to say. Over the months and months since the election, we keep finding out a majority of the fraud were, were on the Republican side. And every time it's always black and white. Somebody, you know, voted with their dead wives, whatever. Somebody voted twice. Who they voting for? Trump, Trump, Trump. But the people who pretend to care about a law and order and, and, and uh, this country and this uh, constitution ain't got nothing to say about all the fraud happening in the Republican Party. And still are walking around in 2022 talking about the incompetent, weak-ass, bullshit Democrats somehow pulled off the greatest heist of all time. Who is stupid enough to think that the weak-ass, incompetent Democrats could pull off a massive scam like that? That after all these court cases and all these months and months of investigation and and conversations, what do we have? The best thing that they presented was the Arizona bullshit cyber ninja defunct company a company with no experience in doing what they were doing and even they didn't find fraud right what did they find inconsistencies you're auditing something you don't fully understand 
I think we're going to expect you're going to see some inconsistencies because obviously you don't know what the hell you're doing. But the fact of the matter is, these are the most pro-Trump, pro-election, whatever, and they had access to all the ballots and all this, and laser scanning this and that, that, that. And even they couldn't come and say, we found evidence. Here's some ballots, and we have the people's names, and now we're going to lock them up. Charges are filed. This ballot came from here, and, and we figured out this, and we looked at the camera thing, whatever. They got nothing. But when people are on the Trump side doing it, and I covered Trump side and Biden side, overwhelming majority, it was Trump where the fraud was coming from, right? When, when, the, when, when the actual fraud happens, it's not no inconsistencies. It's no, this person voted illegally with their dead wife or, or they voted twice or one guy was messing with the machines. All this stuff, Stephen Crowder don't have none to say. Here we have yet again a bunch of Republicans committing fraud, but yet the bullshitters who pretend like they care, like they have integrity, like they're more than just a tribalist. Right, those guys walk around 2022 to talk. Oh, 2020, look who's Ain't got nothing to say about this. Tribalism is the biggest threat to America, not the bullshit tribal uh, culture wars being fed to you by multi-millionaire elites, Harvard graduates. These Republicans graduated from Ivy League schools, multi-millionaires. Don't give a rat's ass about your children being slaughtered in schools. They don't care about nothing but themselves, just like the fraudulent Democrats. But you people still listening to narratives coming from lying frauds. I reject the bullshit coming from the Democrats. I reject the bullshit coming from the Republicans. Why do you still repeat narratives coming from lying fraudulent elite Millionaire, bullshit, lying, fraud Republicans. The good friends of the Democrats who pretend to be enemies but serve the same millionaires and billionaires who donate to both parties. Which right-wing channel is going to talk about this? So was there voter fraud last week? That's a question we've been working on since election night. We tried to be careful and precise as we report this out. In moments like this, truth really matters more than ever. False allegations of fraud can cause as much damage as the fraud itself. And the last thing America needs right now is more damage. So we want to be accurate. What we're about to tell you is accurate. It's not a theory. It happened, and we can prove it. Other news organizations could prove it, too. They've simply chosen not to. It's a former elementary school teacher called Rosemary Hartle. According to her 2017 obituary, Rosemary Hartle was a loving, fun, sassy, and sarcastic in a fun way. Beautiful, powerful, relentless, and inspiring. Sadly, now she's gone. But her voter registration remains. She's still on the rolls. Someone received Rosemary Hartle's ballot in the mail and then cast it. Who did this? We don't know who did it. We wish we did. We should know. It's fraud. It's a threat to our system. And it's being hidden by a news media totally vested in a Joe Biden presidency. Then the GOP posted out this tweet pushing this thing about how this lady voted illegally. This is proof of what the left doesn't want you to know. The Democrats don't want you to know. Right. Then, of course, right wing media picks this up on the airport. Oh, this lady, this and she voted and the, the left tried to say no fraud happened. And here it is. It's real fraud happened. And then belief just it, it made no sense to me. But it lent, lent some credence to the you know what you know, you've been hearing in the media and you know, about these possibilities. And now it makes me wonder you know, how pervasive is this then we find out that the man himself was the one responsible the guy on the news that right-wing media pushing out to folks on the right and conservatives look see see this is what's happening they're stealing election oh this guy out there look they took my wife's thing he's the one who used his wife's ballot to fraudulently vote but because this is not a very effective way to cheat which is what we've been saying for quite some time, he got busted, just like many others who try to do it. Those who try to do this very, very ineffective tactic usually get 
busted. He got busted. But this is after months and months of pushing out this narrative of oh, election fraud and look what's happening, whatever, by a guy who himself was the one committing the fraud. The Republican Party is the party who dominated in the 2020 election as far as trying to commit fraud and then when their fraud failed they tried to overturn the election but people who are out there pretending to be patriots and oh i love my country and constitution they don't care because they're nothing but tribalists they're nothing but partisans all it is is emotion don't really care about the facts and reality you're just reacting to the emotional weaponry being used against you by the elites in the Republican Party and right-wing media who works for the Republican Party, even the ones who occasionally say, well, I don't really like the GOP, but I'm going to spend 99% of my time talking about those evil Democrats. Right. Is Steven Crowder going to talk about this and say, this is unacceptable and these, they should be fired and this and that and that, that and the election, this and that, that. If any of them even dare talk about it, they're going to say, see, and the left, they said there's no fraud. And look, there, clearly there is fraud. And that's what we've been saying all along. Moving the goalpost and playing mind games. Pretzels. Meanwhile, the Republican Party has been doing a slow motion election fraud. Look at what's happening. Look what's been happening. All the people who voted for Trump illegally, charged and arrested. Not a peep from right wing media. Now we have this. Is this going to be a big story in right wing media? No. In the meantime, the Republican Party has been setting up things to steal another election. They've been setting up people in positions of power who are extremely partisan. People who have been pushing this narrative about, oh, the election's stolen. Putting them in positions of power in the election process. So... The reason why the fraud didn't change the results of the election was because we had safeguards in place. The Republican Party has been removing those safeguards for months and months and months and months. And people who claim to be patriots, people who claim to love this country, people who claim to love the Constitution, got nothing to say about a corrupt party rigging the system so that they can potentially steal the next election. It's a close election. The stuff that they pulled, all this fake electors, whatever. The people that were in place to stop that, they're not there anymore. Even in the audit in Arizona, they had a criminal counting ballots. Stephen Crowder talk about it? No. I think one of the guys counting the ballots was actually on one of those ballots. I mean, complete no integrity, absolute maximum corruption, lies, frauds. Half of these people should be in prison along with many of the Democrats. But tribalism has people, oh, well, you know, I know they're not the best people, but the, 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 the Democrats, they're Satan. They are evil. So I'm going to support evil in the Republican Party. Because I'm more afraid of the other side. But who gave you that idea to be more afraid of the other side? The same fraudulent people in the Republican Party. When are you guys going to wake up? Get woke. It's time to get woke. Stop repeating the narrative of elites in the Republican or Democratic parties. The Democrats pretend to care. Suggest that they're going to do things that they know they're not going to do. So they can play the good guy role. The Republicans play with the emotions of their base, distracting them with culture wars. Oh, the left, this and that, the Democrats, this and that, 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 so that their base doesn't realize that they don't give a rat's ass about them. They're lining their pockets with money, enriching themselves while your children are slaughtered, and you're worried about clumps of cells in a woman's body who you never met. You're worried about Aunt Jemima. You're worried about Eminem, what kind of shoes the Eminem lady has on. You're worried about, ooh, evil Disney. But the idea that one day your kids might go to school and be slaughtered and never come home, you ain't worried about that. You're more worried about, ooh, CRT. I don't want my kids to hear certain things. I'm more worried about them hearing certain things that might be 
things that I don't like. I'm more worried about that than the idea of someone coming to school and slaughtering your kids and absolutely nothing being done by it about it by either part. Not even worried about the growing problem of children being molested by their teachers. Think about that. Children, there's a big problem in this country of children being molested by their teachers. But you are not worried about it. You're not talking about it because millionaire mouthpieces have not told you to focus on that. The millionaire mouthpieces just so happen to be focused on CRT. And it just so happens that you're focused on what they're focused on. But things that are more severe, like your children being molested, you're not talking about. Things that are more severe, like your children being killed by mass shooters, you're not even talking about. Instead, you're talking about your guns and your rights and the left and everything else but the most important things, such as the lives of your very children. You're worried about words they might hear, not bullets they might feel. You're worried more about words they might hear than you are about them being molested by their teachers that they trust. Why is this not an issue being focused on. You have many right-wing parents, many who just so happen to be GOP activists, that are going around the country fighting against CRT. Where is the national movement fighting against child molestation? You have a bunch of people on the right talking about groomer this, groomer that, but there's no conversation about child molestation there's no conversation about we need to do something about these mass shootings the only thing being talked about are the very same things being discussed by the millionaire mouthpieces in the republican party and their mouthpieces in the right-wing media is it a coincidence that the only thing that is mainly being talked about by folks on the right is the very same things being talked about by these millionaire mouthpieces but yet things that are more important and more severe are not even being discussed. Is it a coincidence? Or are Americans on the left and the right being controlled by the media they consume, which amplifies the narratives that the elites in both parties want to distract us with? You decide. Stop letting these corrupt politicians play you like a fiddle. They know the things that get you emotionally to react and they keep feeding it to you. They're coming for your guns. Oh, they're going to turn this country into a socialist country and this is, and they got the open borders and, blah, 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 and get you all. Ah. So now all you got to do to win elections is present yourself as you're going to fight against the evil left. So you can get in power, do nothing, do all the corruption you want, lie all you want insult the intelligence of your voters all you want as long as you can present oh we're gonna create a bill to block woke this and, and we're gonna kick out all the crt we're gonna ban these books and we're gonna this that that and we're gonna stop this wokeism from destroying the country what are you doing about health care what are you doing to make the lives of your voters better people are about to lose their homes they can't afford to pay for gas they can't afford to pay for their food they're living check to check what are you doing about that? Nothing. You're busy playing your base for fools. Eminem and Aunt Jemima and CRT. And then behind the scenes, you're laughing at your base at how dumb they are. How they keep falling for the same obvious tricks year after year, election after election. They're almost as dumb as the left who votes for Democrats. Believing that maybe, maybe, maybe this time, maybe this time the Democrats will actually do what they said they're going to do. After the hundredth time the Democrats didn't do what they said they're going to do. What are we, a nation of pawns? Hope and dreams on the left? 
oh, it takes time, and you know, maybe this, may, you gotta give, now is not the time, and you just gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, this is not the way politics works, you don't know, it's complicated, you don't know the thing that they're doing, and, and listen, at least they are trying to do something, what's the Republicans doing, <sighs> I'm gonna vote for Democrats, keep voting, oh, well, I know they didn't do that one thing, but they did a couple of things, didn't they, what are the Republicans doing, oh, oh let's run both evils, the lesser of two evils. Pawn group number two. Oh, they're coming to take our guns. Oh, this country's going to become a socialist country. Oh, we got to stop those evil Democrats. Oh, they hate our country. The open borders. The, 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 the border. And all these Mexicans are flooding in the country. And they're going to take our jobs. And oh, my goodness. You have cancer. Oh, no, I don't have health care. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna die! But anyway... Socialism! Oh, they're coming to take our guns! You... Hey, 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 hey! You got cancer and you don't have health care Because the Republican Party made sure you don't have health care. Because they're focused on the people that pay them. The elites, the pharmaceutical companies. Um... That kinda sucks. But CRT, they got CRT in the schools and they're grooming the kids and oh! Tribalism. That's what you need to worry about. As long as this tribalism poison continues to infest this country, we will continue to go backwards, to degrade, to be in the hamster wheel, more focused on the political opponents than you are about your own children, your own health, your own prosperity. You're starving, you're dying, you're struggling to pay your bills. But millionaires have you worried about M&Ms and syrup Mickey Mouse while you die. While this country burn, Democrats and Republicans playing this country when will we unplug from the partisan media that keeps us in these echo chambers, keeps us at each other's throats, keeps us distracted from the things that... When will we unplug from left-wing and right-wing media, corporate and independent propagandists who keep feeding you emotional ammunition to make you fearful and angry and distracted with the other? while you support the very same corruption that you fear from the people you vote. It's time for media revolution. It's time to get woke. It's time to unplug. This is the baby channel. Debate me in the comment section below. Click on the like button, subscribe, smash that bell. Be well. Tribalism must die with this country will. If you love this country, focus your energy against tribalism, not candy, cartoons, and syrup.